but you can use Keynote as part of your presentation arsenal when you're using Webinar Jams. Now, if you're like me, you're a Mac owner, and you've come to love the functionality of Keynote. And I use it all the time in my live presentations, and I just recently purchased Webinar Jams to do my trainings online and webinars and, and all the different things that I have planned. And with Webinar Jams, one of the requirements is whatever presentation software that you're going to use, it needs to have its own separate floating window to play within. Now, again, uh, Keynote doesn't offer that currently. Whenever you hit play on Keynote, it takes over the entire screen, and that's just not good for a webinar or a webinar jams or the platform that it's using. So I had to come up with a, a workaround and a solution. Now, I'm going to tell you, I have actually spent uh, a good couple of weeks researching this because I purchased webinar jams here not that long ago, and I watched the training videos, and I found out that this was the case. And there's been a lot of different solutions offered by people, none of them that um, was what I was looking for. I always appreciate when someone has a solution and they post it, and that's exactly why I'm doing the same, because I, I'm hoping to help you. So let me just give you a demonstration, and then I'll show you how I accomplished this. So let me go to screen share. Let me get onto my keynote presentation. Screen share, here we go. And allow me to show you how this works. What are the problems? Well, the problems are using Keynote in its own window. Um, let's get right into it. As you can see, I have transitions here. These are not PDFs. A lot of the solutions that I found online said convert your Keynote into a PDF. Well, you can do that if you have a simple presentation, and that's not a problem. That is a solution. But I didn't want to lose the functionality of Keynote that I've come to expect and appreciate, such as some of the transitions. And I know there's people that say, well, some transitions get lost in webinars, and I can appreciate that too. But I've worked really hard to create some of these presentations, and I just want to use them on my webinars, including movies. Another one is convert it into a QuickTime. Now, I have Apple Cares, and I called them up, and the hoops they made me jump through was unacceptable to me. They actually told me I had to take the current version of Keynote. Now, it used to be the older version of Keynote, 09. You could convert it into a QuickTime movie, and it had an option where it could have manual advance within QuickTime movie. You could use your arrow key. In the current version of Keynote, that's no longer an option. It's not even there. So they said I had to take my current Keynote presentation, convert it into Keynote 09, open Keynote 09, and then convert that into a QuickTime movie with manual advance. Lots of hoops to jump through, a lot of wasted time. I wasn't happy with that. There's a lot of um, other solutions involving converting your presentation into PowerPoint. Well, I happen to have the Microsoft Office Suite for Mac. So that is an option for me, but not everyone has that. It's another added expense, and quite frankly, many times when you convert from Keynote into PowerPoint, you have to go through and touch up your program because not everything translates or copies over the way that you want it to. Again, a lot of wasted time and hassle and aggravation. Then you can use SlideShare online. You can put your slides into that, and you can use Google Docs and presentations. There's all these other things that goes on and on and on and on. I was looking for something that was quick, simple, effective, and gave me all the functionality of Keynote. I even went so far as to go to iCloud.com, open up one of my presentations within iCloud.com, thinking it was in a window, and play Keynote from there. And to my dismay, it took over the whole screen. But I'm going to tell you, I found a workaround. This is easy, it's quick, it's effective. Allow me to continue on with my demonstration to show you that all I have to do is click another slide here and you'll see a movie play. Matt, I heard you have the ability to take anyone, any age, male or female, and virtually transform the quality of their communication. They become 
Now, as you can see, I'm playing a video right now, and you're seeing it being recorded. That was another um, thing that Webinar Jams is working out, is if you insert a movie into your presentation, you're going to have blank spaces. As you can see clearly here, it's almost over. I just don't want to talk over the top of the movie because it's hard to, to hear both. In just a few seconds, you codified and organized behaviors that I can use to gain control of a situation without offending or hurting anybody. It was oh, let me show you. If I want to stop this, because there's a training point right here, I can stop the movie. I have full functionality of it. I wanted to show you here. I can move over to the side, and it gives me all my different uh, slides. I can jump ahead to another slide. But right here, if I wanted to pause a movie because I wanted to talk about it, here we go. I can say, look at right here. Look at the hand positions. Look at how people are facing. Look where they're sitting. Uh, and I can continue to play this movie from where it is. Or I can use this bar down here at the bottom. I can drag that movie anywhere that I want to. So I have full functionality as an instructor, as a presenter, uh, full control over everything that I want. If I want to just hit that button right now, it'll go on to the next slide. All I have to do is click on through and I can show you pictures if I want to. Now the thing that I want you to remember is that you're seeing movies being recorded. As I was trying to say earlier, I just didn't want to talk over the top of it. It doesn't sound good that way. A lot of times um, when you go to show a movie in Webinar Jams, if you have the inserted, then you're going to have to go through and touch that up because it's not going to record it. Right now, you're seeing a recording. It's happening. I know you're dying for the answer and the solution to this. Uh, if I want to jump ahead to another slide, that's not a problem. I can just hit the button. I can jump ahead to another slide if I want to. I'm just manually advancing all these right now. Let's see. I go over here and I say, oh, I want a different slide. Let's go up to this one here. There we go. And I can start clicking right away. And you see my transitions coming in one by one. Not a problem. And I can talk along with them. If I want to hit the back, back button, not a problem. I hit the back button. I can start over again. It's just that simple. What it will do is it will take you to the uh, slide before and start over again. So let me get out of here. And let me go back to my screen. There we go. And I'm going to show you the easy workaround that allows you to have all the functionality without losing anything. It's super simple, super fast, couple steps. And trust me, you're going to be thanking me for this. I, I have spent weeks coming up with this. And you know when you're searching for a solution, sometimes it's just something really simple. Well. I found it. So let's let's do this. Let me minimize my window here. Let me minimize this. Perfect. And I'm going to show you. Let me get rid of this one. Let me show you what I did. It's it's super super simple. Go to screen share, and I'm going to show you my desktop. Let's go to desktop. So I'm going to walk you through this. Now, yeah, you're going to get the little cascading thing, but let me minimize this down for right now because we're not going to need that. So let's tuck that away up here in the corner. Perfect. And let's open up Keynote so I can show you how easy this is. So we have a Keynote presentation open. I've just completed a Keynote presentation and I want to be able to use this with Webinar Jams. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to go up to File. I'm going to go to Export. And I'm going to go to HTML. That is the secret right there. I have not seen anywhere. And trust me when I tell you, I've Googled it. I've gone on YouTube. I've gone on the forums, the communities, all the different places. I've never seen anyone offer up this solution. So again, let me just backtrack because it's this simple. You're not going to believe how simple this is. When you get done with your keynote uh, with your keynote presentation, doesn't matter how many 
sounds or transitions or movies or whatever. It doesn't matter. When you're done with your presentation, you simply go to File, Export, to HTML. You click on HTML and you hit Next. When you hit Next, I'm going to cancel out of here because it'll take a little bit of time for it to come across. Let me just minimize this down for right now. What it's going to do is going to give you a folder. Right here is a folder. I'm just going to, I know it's probably small on your screen, but right here is a folder. When you open up this folder, there's going to be two things within this folder. One is another folder that says assets, and then there's going to be another, um, I don't know if you want to call it document or whatever it is, that it says index.html. All you do is double click on index.html and it's going to give you another window. When that window opens up, it's going to have your presentation in it. So let me see if this is working. I'm just going to make this window bigger. And when I click on my presentation, you can see that there it is in its own separate window. Now, what I like to do for the purposes of this is I copy that and I hit Command C for copy. Then I go up to File and I say New Window. And I just drop it here and I hit Command V for paste and hit Enter. And there it pulls up my presentation in its own window. So why is that important? Because again, in webinar jams. I'm going to come back to me. Let me come back to my window. There we go. So for the purpose of webinar jams, now off to the side here, I've got a window open with my keynote presentation in it all by itself. It's ready to go. So all I have to do is simply go over here, hit screen share, choose that window with my keynote presentation. Obviously you're going to have that open up uh, before you start your webinar, I'm just going to choose that. I'm going to click on Start Screen Share, and there we have it. I am ready to rock and roll. I can hit the Next button, and it's going to advance my slides for me. There we go. Just that simple. I'm clicking. There's another click. I want to talk for a while. Talk, talk, talk. Another click. Oh, I don't want to do this. I want to go back one. Not a problem. I can go back one. I don't like this slide. I move my arrow over. I choose a different slide to go through. Real simple. Are you ready for change? There you have it. So with that being said, I'm going to come back to my window here. I hope that you see how easy this is. Again, just one last time to recap because I know it's that simple. When you're done making your keynote presentation, you go up to File, you go to Export, HTML. When you export to HTML, you choose the name of the file and where you want it to be saved. For the purposes of this demonstration, I chose Desktop just to make it easy. You're going to see a file folder. You click on that, it's going to come up. There's two things within there. You hit the one that's the uh, .html, it pops up. I put it in its own separate window. I have it off to the side ready to go so when I'm on webinar jams I can just click on it. As you can see it's fully functional. It, it plays videos. You can move from slide to slide. It has all your transitions. Easy, easy, easy. I hope you enjoy this training. Please visit my web page if you uh, want to check me out and get more information. You can do all the standard things on social media. Add me to your circles, like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, on and on and on. But feel free to pass this around to your friends that use Keynote and uh, are having a lot of trouble for you there at Webinar Jams. I hope that you post this or any of the people in the communities because there's a lot of people looking for this exact solution. And I'm very happy and honored that I can help out and save everyone a lot of time. Um, if you want to do a practice session, again, send me a message. I'm, I'm more than happy to, to help you out and walk you through some of this stuff. Uh, a lot of people have given back, and that's how I've learned, so this is my way of giving back and contributing. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you find it useful, and I hope to talk to you or see you at one of my trainings. Goodbye.